chapter. <clears throat> I mean, hi everyone. So I was in the chapter mode again. So I was in the chapter mode. Anyway, I'm here with another real on video. Oh, and I'm reading, and I'm reading you Beauty and the Beast. So we just finished the twentieth chapter. And now we're heading on to the 21st chapter of View and the Beast. So prepare to be along, or just listen, or whatever. Be ready for... Be ready to read with me. As we will see what happens next in Beauty and the Beast. I mean Beauty. Chapter 21 Shadows in the Moonlight Each day, new surprises unfolded to lift Beauty's spirit, but her curiosity about the handsome young man was never satisfied. Perhaps there were no answers to this puzzle. She thought one night before retiring, Beauty walked in the rose garden in the moonlight. The arbors were filled with sweet-smelling blossoms of every color. It concerned her that the beast cared for her so much that she did not care for him in the same way. Hmm. 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 With lost in her thoughts, Beauty came upon a magnificently decorated gazebo with beautiful flowering plants and stood in the center of the garden mirrored panels with, etched with roses sep separated with section of the glass walls when she entered the gazebo <coughs> the images on the mirrors startled her it was reflected in the many mirrors, and by her side was a mysterious young man. Who are you? she asked, determined to find an answer. Mm -hmm. ah! A cry rang out from a high turret in the castle. Glancing up, Beauty saw the beast's massive shadow in the window. She was more confused than ever. The wavering image of the mirror faded. Shaken, Beauty went Beauty went to her room and finally fell asleep. In her dreams hmm, the fine lady appeared to her again. Beauty, follow your heart. And you will be rewarded with true happiness, the kind fairy whispered. Then the fairy vanished, and Beauty dreamed of the handsome young man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beauty, don't be swayed by appearances, he begged. Beauty woke with a start. Although the sun had risen, her mind was still clouded. Hmm... So, that's it, I think. Well, I guess that's all for this chapter. Tune in next time when I read you the 22nd chapter of Beauty and the Beast. And I'll see you tomorrow.